hopefully we can maintain that because if we go back into the winter patterns again, <coughs> the storm systems, it could be very destructive on the plants and uh, the fruit trees and everything that are responding to the, the 20 degrees above normal temperatures that we're having. And uh, there is another wave of moisture coming through the Pacific Northwest now. And we want to look at, at reestablishing that southern flow uh, of the jet stream to wrap down into the warm Pacific again and bring that back up so that we get more moisture into the southwest. So we'll look at that during our program. And other than that, we, uh, the only suggestion we have today is to look at the Ukraine situation. And that is really a, a difficult cult one to work with because it's, it's chaos. And always in chaos, you don't deal with it directly. We have to go underneath the energetics of the chaos to the, to the subtle energies of the root cause. What are, what, what are people's consciousness doing to create the chaos? And, and why are they there in the first place? Um, so we, we may, we'll see what, Stephen brings through on that, if anything at all. Usually those dynamics just have to work their way through energetically until we can put some stabilizing influence into them. Other than that, um, we're in our, like I said, we're in our, <coughs> pardon me, spring cycles and working towards equinox. And uh, in this shift of consciousness that's occurring, we want to be aware that Everything, uh, every potential that is opening us up to us now, energetically, that's coming from the cosmos, uh, from the galactic center, is stimulating us all to to reach to higher expansion of consciousness. We had an experience just uh, on March second in our private group. It was truly exceptional because the, the tones came in. And uh, we were found we could work with them with our minds with, by listening and 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 uh, responding to the what is coming. It actually it opened us up to where we could telepathically communicate with the galactic center and respond to their suggestions. And and the eight or ten of us that were on in that private session from that time on, <clears throat> we've been experiencing uh, extremely expanded consciousness. And uh, I just looked at the, the astrological influences, and there are very few influences right at the moment. The sun is in opposition or squared with, with the moon, and that could create some opportunities for tension, exactly like what's happening in the Ukraine. Um, but Uranus is also squared with the moon. And that gives us an, this, another opportunity for open consciousness <clears throat> and expanded consciousness and developing our psychic ability. So we'll see what happens today in the program that, that might occur. And the, uh, uh, the Uranus is also square Pluto, and uh, Mars is retrograde at this time. And that indicates what? Well, Mars, it's the illusion of backward movement. Generally, that would be a contraindication for the general nature of the planet. So, and Mars is viewed as a warlike, hostile planet of conflict. So, all of the things equal retrograde Mars might somewhat ease tensions. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, let's go right directly to our our. Um, our work with Earth Mind today, and we'll see what develops. Take your awareness. Well, first of all, let's get into our step back state. Take your awareness to your forehead. And begin to move right straight back in your head. And I'd be curious to know if the external group is listening to Wolf Spirit Pro Radio is having the same sensation we're having in the Earth Mind group. So we're going to see if we can resonate into the open audience what we're feeling in Earth Mind. 
So move your awareness right straight back now. Into the soul center. And in the soul center, expand your awareness outward to all the others who are listening on Wolf Spirit Radio. And those of the think tank group, just expand this feeling of openness, of being non-restricted into the consciousness, the, the uh, subconscious minds, and the unconscious mind of the extended group. It's just a feeling of, of reaching out, extending ourselves outward to encompass everyone in the extended group. And what's interesting to me, in this, we're still in our, our, in our frontal lobes pretty much, except we step back into the soul level now a little bit. But this almost feels like what we do when we go into the unconscious mind by going all the way through and back through the subconscious into the unconsciousness. And so this gives us an opportunity to access not only the extended group that is listening, but the, the rest of the consciousness of the world also. And so we're going to take another step back now feeling that full, open, expanded state. And anyone who is not feeling that, move your awareness back from the frontal lobes, back into the, the soul center, then back into the psychic center. Just let yourself step back and expand. It's an expanded feeling with no constraints, no limitations. And I'm being told that this, this is a state of consciousness where we're free of the limitations of the patterns and programs that have been impacting Earth, Earth mind consciousness for the last 23,000 years. Step on back now, deeper, deeper, letting yourself go. Don't hold on to the third dimensional consciousness. Step back and allow yourself to expand. It's like stepping backward over a cliff. There's suddenly nothing under you or around you. You're just expanded outward. But let yourself go into that expanded state. And there's a, a really neat feeling of joy that, that accompanies this. And joy is our body signal from higher consciousness for when we're doing something right. So let's follow, follow this path a little further. And in that expanded state, reach your awareness upward through the crown chakra. And interesting you should be feeling no limitation, no blocks. Allow yourself to drift right on up higher and higher. And you begin to feel a light. You sense it as much as see it. Drift right on upward into that expanded state of consciousness of pure light. Now we know several things. <clears throat> we, we may be feeling the photons from the sun that carry life force information to us. So let's let the light force flow down into our consciousness, bringing life force to us. Resonate that downward through all the levels of the chakra system. 
and realize that it's actually entering into the subtle energy system and this is the one that's so hard to access but now it's like we have an open portal to the subtle energy system that supports and holds the chakra system and the unconscious mind and the subconscious mind all in form so even as you follow the the channels downward in the subtle energy system down behind the chakra system down to the root chakra and down into earth be aware that out in front is the way it feels in perspective out in front is the chakra system as we settle down into earth and it's like truly becoming a co-creator because this step back state of consciousness expanded state of consciousness that encompasses and holds everything in form is the power center and what's delightful to me is that this is where we direct from our conscious level by observation from the surrounding conditions this is where we direct our desire and will <clears throat> with intent to become co-creators and in this extended state of consciousness we can also hear the galactic tones very faintly <clears throat> but we realize this is the source of this power and energy that we're opening up to just feel that deep incredible open awareness flowing through us drop our awareness down into earth mind and into the crust of the earth the silicon dioxide that is the biochip of all consciousness holding an intelligence the knowledge of everything in the past in the Akasic records to so take this opportunity just to drop into the Akasic records now and take your point of awareness to your own lifetimes this lifetime with the intent to clear and release open the portals clear the channels of all human activities experiences shocks traumas negative patterns or programs from your family flows let all of that just disassemble and flow away now what we're doing is opening the subconscious mind so it can spontaneously clear and release and those of us who have had who had the experience of going to to our those of us who had the opportunity and were shown how to access the home planet the planet of origin of all human species I'm not talking about the physical animal species we inhibit now I'm talking about the human consciousness 
of our indwelling souls. We had that opportunity. And ever since that that experience, we've been having spontaneous releasings from our physical bodies. And we're willing this out into the group mind consciousness of the ex- extended Wolf Spirit radio program. And through the computers, all interconnections in the web, the internet, we extend outward this force of consciousness, this force of clarity, 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 into the web, into the group mind consciousness of all human souls, the souls who all have common ancestry, source. We resonate this clarity now and with the clarity and awareness of what our source was, is, that holds the resonance of consciousness that we are all an extension of and a piece of. It's an interesting sensation of nothingness, of being in space, but that nothingness encompasses all things. To allow that nothingness to work into your own systems, to clear negative human programmings, to let go of the last 26,000 years of negative experience in this cycle, and to let, to allow that cycle to recede away from us in the standing waves of the galactic forms, And we feel an intensity within our own systems that is common to everyone now. That intensity, it's like feeling the stored stress of this last 26,000 years that's carried through to us genetically in genetic consciousness, DNA consciousness. We release, let go, Just will to release everything you feel in your systems at this time. Let go of the third dimension. Let go of the stresses, the lessons that we've learned. Continue to evolve. Expand your consciousness. Realizing our consciousness is not limited to our biological systems any longer. We acknowledge and accepting we are all part of the whole. As we merge back into the, the pool of consciousness that, that holds the human intelligence, the God force impulse to express life as human, We accept the limit, no limitations. And 
even though we have this point of awareness that says, yes, our particular soul are indwelling in a human form, we open up to the awareness of our greater soul consciousness and all the potentials that are there that can and does experience through the DNA of all living forms. Feel yourself expand into the consciousness of all living forms on earth. Recognizing that we are all one expression of God force desire to experience all things possible. That we are the progenitors of life for the full cycles, not only of this physical life, but the extended afterlives. and the evolutionary conscious extending through other dimensions of reality. Opening our psychic planes. So we can easily cross interdimensionally and experience other realities. We do so in our personal power with no fear. And we do this with the awareness that we do have a bond into this physical body and this indwelling soul within this body so it will not be lost. This is our anchor at this time in this incarnation. Now we return back to our own systems, recognizing that now that we've opened the portals, we can go back any time with extended psychic ability as we trust and open up to those gifts and abilities. And as our DNA responds by opening, enhancing, stimulating the cells, the genes, and the extended strands of DNA of higher consciousness. We also recognize in this state of extended soul travel, we are ageless. Our souls do not age. And with this awareness, we can resonate that into our DNA and to the telomeres strands within our systems to enhance these bodies, these physical bodies and to use in these bodies by observing and willing the telomeres that determine aging They're there etherically, so we bring them back into the physical form. These are the structures that hold the resonances of the five, five energies. that all material things are created from. And we use them. 
we use them so we will have these physical bodies as long as we care to experience the fourth dimensional the fourth dimensional region we're moving into now stabilizing in the lower planes of the fourth dimension we're simply by awareness acknowledging who we are and how this all works we gain recognition of our powers our power to use consciousness in co-creative form with the God force and so it is Bring your awareness back into the physical body. Drop down the spine to the root chakra into earth mind. And we'll work with the environment now. Take your awareness through the earthquake grid to Southern California to the end of the grid become one with it feel the stress energies <clears throat> building from the plate movements through the fracture zones lift that energy up your spines out through the crown chakra through oversoul into the ionosphere to strengthen the golden greater protection we've created around the earth and extend your awareness around the world encompassing the world within yourself that's what it feels like we are with no separation we are the golden grid and we hold the entire consciousness of the world the subtle energy field of the world within ourselves Bring your awareness back into Southern California. Move quickly along the Pacific Coast. The San Andreas Fault system all the way up to the Oregon line. And as we bring this energy up into the golden grid. We feel it shift within ourselves. Move your awareness eastward to the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California and Nevada and 
This is subduction zone, lifting the Rocky Mountains, or the Sierra Nevadas. Lift that energy upward. Now move eastward from that point to the Rocky Mountain Range. Northward to the Yellowstone Caldera. Lift the, the energy released from the mantle up through the, the caldera, release that up into the golden grid. To strengthen the grid. Now take your awareness <clears throat> to the northwest. the Cascade Range all the way up through Washington to the California Line and northward along the coast of Canada to central Alaska where there is a a sudden burst <coughs> great a burst of activity of minor earthquakes through that subduction zone there of plates colliding up through central Canada or Alaska There's been at least 400 minor earthquakes there in the last few days. Lift those all upward. Now take your awareness down the Aleutian chain. All the way to Russia, then southward to Japan, the activity is very light in Japan and in the Japanese trench. But he left that energy upward. Using it to encompass the radioactivity from the reactors, carrying the radioactivity upward into the golden grid, transmuting it into beneficial energy. And we will, the Devix consciousness holding the form to continue capturing that radioactivity, transmuting it. As we move our awareness southward now to Taiwan, minor activity down through Taiwan. On down through the, the southern Philippines, into Indonesia, and 
and the Indonesian Crescent along the Java Trench. Now eastward to the Guinea. Vanuatu, Fiji, all the way to the Tonga Trench, southward through New Zealand. And eastward to South America and the Andes Range. Lift the energy up through the ancient volcanoes, all subduction energy, volcanic energy. <laughs> up to Ecuador. In Central America, where there's a greater activity this week, lift that all upward. On the Ecuador Trench. Then eastward. to Puerto Rico now there's activity in the mid-Atlantic ridge in the bottom of the ocean increased activity which is also reflected in the plates as they press Following along to the Mediterranean, Greece, Turkey, and to China, and uh, Eastward to back across the Pacific to our point of beginning. And into the central United States around Oklahoma. Further eastward to the New Madrid Fault. And eastward to Loudoun, Tennessee, for fracking activity. The gas wells is causing some minor earthquakes. Now back to our point of beginning. Southern California, and I'll bring your awareness back up your spine to the physical level. Now we take our awareness into the physical plane of consciousness and 
the world is in a, a Malaysian airline jumbo jet down with 239 passengers. So we go to those passengers and do the Book of the Dead for those to release their spirits. To release their souls. Bring our awareness back to this civil level of consciousness in the world. And we feel a shift as we tune into the group mind consciousness. The work we did with the souls is already having an effect. It feels much more benign. Taking your awareness to the Ukraine. We see that that is actually was a, the dynamics of human consciousness that was a diversion to take our attention away from the global reset of the financial structure so that the force of consciousness that is bringing about the global RV we stabilize that situation and bring the attention back to creating the global revaluation in the financial structure in the banks and release the control and the power of the Illuminati over the system we see the global reset happening now We feel resistance to that. We clear the resistance. The resistance of the opposition force that doesn't want this to happen. Because if they lose the power of money, they lose virtually all of their power. Release it now. You go into the opposition force. with the power of group mind consciousness we lift the frequency level of these beings who hold this financial power make them acquiescent to the benefits of dominion And we project dominion into the world consciousness of all human beings and accelerate the progression into the fourth dimension. Bring our attention back to the weather patterns in the Pacific we see that the jet stream has moved northward carrying good moisture into the Pacific Northwest we reach out into the ocean four days and drop that pattern down into the Hawaiian region 
to gather moisture and bring it back into the southwest. And we see this happening within seven days. You see the weather through the entire country stabilizing, settling out the pole, the polar shift, outbreak of the polar air, the Arctic air withdrawing as the spring cycles establish themselves. And so it is. To take your awareness into the brotherhood of man. Bring in a flow of unconditional love through the galactic center. Throw it radiating through the back of your head. Through your hands. Send it unconditional love. Into the grid of the internet consciousness that all humans who are exposed to electronics in any way will respond and further learn to teach each other and experience unconditional love between each other And we direct the force, the consciousness of dominion into all world systems, human, electronic, subtle energy systems, and we feel that happening within us as we resonate through all the unified grids particularly through the golden grid which resonates into every living being on earth the principles of dominion and we feel the shift happening within us as it's happening to every human on earth Every human is prompted to the principles of dominion where they are the caretakers and nurturers of every system on the earth. And so it is. Go back into your own systems now. Take a few moments to adjust your own realities to express dominion in your own states of consciousness and what you create and attract. And so it is. You come back up out to your soul center to the front lobes of your brain back in your conscious reasoning state bringing with you the resonance of unconditional love to influence everything and everyone around you hello David we're back thank you Frank this has been another great meditation this morning It's just one of those days when, for me, it's it's going to be a challenge even to get through the day. <laughs> but I'm up for it. Yeah, you are. Just draw some energy from the grid. We're all here to support and help you. 
you know, when I was listening to you and you pulled out the Book of the Dead, I thought, you know something that the rest of the world doesn't know yet. And my personal understanding of that is you're absolutely right. By freeing those trapped souls, it releases the stress from the consciousness of everyone concerned about them. That's like my nephew who passed over last Saturday or last Sunday as a result of a, car, uh, a wreck. The question he had was, why was my life cut so short, so quick? And I looked at him, this is after he passed, I looked at him and I said, Seth, to protect you. And he looked at me and smiled and said, You're right, Uncle Dave. I said, It's okay to go. It's your choice. But don't forget, you're going over and play with my pack. And the smile on his face just brought tears to my eyes. He waved goodbye and was gone. Just from our point of attention, he's still very much there in a slightly shifted, different dimension. Another state of awareness and consciousness where he can do much more now than what he could in the physical. And he's there for you, and he's there for your dogs. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got... Six minutes gives me time to get set up for something else. The next show with Knight and Warbeck. And I just want everyone to know out there, I appreciate everyone who listens. And I've been looking, following the shows that have been downloaded. And Frank, you got a lot of shows. The 196 shows were downloaded last week. Wow. Well, the time's coming soon when those shows will be made more available to the general public. In a, and I don't know exactly how it's going to happen, but, but it needs to get out into the world. And it, it is. But we thank you, Dave, for what you're doing to get it out.